I am John, trusted servant of Jasper Tudor, the last Earl of Pembroke to make this a great castle. You may think Tudors were an English dynasty, but they were of Welsh blood. Lord Jasper's father, Owen Tudor, caused a huge scandal by secretly marrying his king's widow, something practically treasonous. But the boys, Jasper and Edmund, were half-brothers to our new king, Henry VI, who made them earls and the highest nobles in the land. So Earl Jasper and I came to Pembroke. Wales was quiet for once, but the trouble brewing elsewhere. Poor Henry VI. Not a wise or a strong man, or even a particularly sane one. When kings are weak, barons bicker for power, and the result is bad government. The nobles fought, the peasants revolted, and the French stole our lands across the channel. Result, civil war. The Wars of the Roses, to be precise. Not as pretty as it sounds. The House of York. They had a rival claimant to the throne, and a lot of people felt he was more up to the job than Henry. The House of Lancaster, my lord's side. We had a Lancastrian on the throne, and by God, we would fight to the death to keep him there. And there was plenty of death and years of warfare and treachery, including the death of my lord's brother, Edmund. He died in captivity at Carmarthen Castle at the close of 1456. But there was also new life. Three months later, Edmund's son, another Henry, was born in this castle under Lord Jasper's protection. His mother was Margaret Beaufort, from royal bloodlines. So baby Henry became another piece in the game for the throne. That war went badly for us House of Lancaster men. By 1468, King Henry VI was a doomed prisoner in the tower, and every other Lancastrian claimant had been wiped out, save young Henry Tudor. He was with Jasper and me in Brittany. We had lost Pembroke by then, and all seemed bleak. But you know, envy and treachery can hurt your enemies as well as yourself, if you let them. The House of York started a power struggle between themselves and ended up with Richard III in power. Now it was the best Yorkist claimants, two young princes, who disappeared into the tower. All we Lancastrians had needed to do was to wait. The moment was right, and we acted. Henry and Jasper Tudor landed an army near Pembroke, marched to Bosworth Field, and dealt a crushing defeat to the Yorkists. That fatherless child born in this castle became King Henry VII, and he rewarded my Lord Jasper over and over for his loyalty. Few men ever saw such swings of fortune as those two. Earl Jasper was a wealthy man again, and he spent money on this great castle, fine decorative stonework, and a mansion house in the outer ward. But time was moving on. Palaces and gunpowder were making fortifications like this old-fashioned in the Tudor age, and after Jasper, Pembroke was never as grand again.